Yo, what is up guys, Wardog3 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the MP11 Weapon Guide Best Variants and Class Setup video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the MP11 is a pretty low damage submachine gun. As you'll see by these tests, it will generally stays in the 4 to 6 shot kill range, mostly hovering around 5 shot kills. And if you put advanced rifling on there, you'll extend your four shot kill range. And if you put the suppressor on there, you'll decrease your four shot kill range. And you'll stay off the mini map, but you'll also make it more likely that you'll get six shot kills, considering this is a close range weapon. Now, it is a bit of a bullet sponge, it does take a lot of bullets to kill sometimes. But you just have to learn how to get used to the gun and you'll see it generally sticks around in the five shot kill range. Now I'm talking about the accuracy and the recoil. This gun is pretty much a spray and pray machine considering it says in the class description that it has the best in class mobility advising you to just literally run around and just hose people down. I'm um, using the special variant which gives me better fire rate so you'll see it becomes even more of a bullet hose but less accurate. This gun isn't really meant for accuracy, it's more meant for just completely close range, destroying people, melting them with that amazingly fast fire rate. It's one of the highest fire rates in the game, especially if you put rapid fire on it. But for the most part, its accuracy isn't that great. The recoil is medium I'd say it's not as high as you think although this can definitely change with the weapon variants you'll see in the test in a moment that even without the foregrip it has pretty moderate spread it's nothing too heavy or too light it's just right in the middle if you put a foregrip on it which I highly recommend that'll definitely help it out especially on a weapon like the MP11 and you'll see here the spread of the MP11 is pretty medium as I said it's not too high not too low and that's kind of surprising for a weapon with such a high fire rate we'll get into that in a second but you'll see that it's pretty much a normal circle the gun does have a lot of muzzle flash which can reduce your accuracy as well but overall the recoil isn't too bad especially if you're at close range now the testing with the foregrip using the foregrip definitely helps out a lot as with most of the weapons in the game the foregrip does help out a lot but you'll see right here that it decreases your recoil and your spread by about 50 or 50 percent that'll definitely help out your accuracy especially at a longer range even though you're not really supposed to be using this gun for a longer range here I'm testing it with rapid fire and no foregrip just plain old rapid fire and you'll see this gun kicks absolutely amazingly high turns the accuracy into complete shit and really bad recoil I recommend if you use rapid fire which I do you'll see that spread right there is pretty insane now I'm using the grip I recommend if you ever use rapid fire on this weapon that you do use the grip as you'll see it completely stops it from going above that door as you saw at the rapid fire without the foregrip it just went completely over and you'll see the spread there a much 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 better spread than with rapid fire and grip but let's talk about the range on this weapon now this gun as I said is built for close range it's built for rushing really high mobility just spray and pray your enemies the range usually stays around five shots to kill. The four shot kill range is pretty low. The six shot kill range, if you're using a suppressor, will come pretty quick, but I recommend you use the advanced rifling since you're pretty much want to be loud with this weapon to attract most of the enemies. Now, talking about the fire rate, as I said, this thing is an absolute bullet hose. You just spray and pray and just completely hose your enemies with bullets. You'll see here, if you're at a close enough range where that four shot kill is active, you can just absolutely melt people. You'll just see there, that guy had the first shot on me and I shot right after him and I completely melted him. 
and that's what I'm talking about with this gun. The fire rate is very high. I'd say about 900 rounds per minute. If you put rapid fire on that, that'll definitely increase by about 20-25%. So that's about 1,000 to 1,050, which is very good, although you'll see that you'll burn your magazine very quickly, and your recoil will go up if you're not using a foregrip, which I highly advise you to use a foregrip on this gun anyway especially because I'm using the MP11 Squeaker, which is an elite version. It comes with this built-in red dot sight. That's basically what I use for the entire gameplay. But it comes with a built-in red dot sight, and it has minus 2 accuracy, but plus 2 rate of fire. So you'll just see I'm just completely melting and demolishing people at a close range, because recoil isn't really a factor when your enemy's right in front of you. Now you'll see the hip fire is really good, which moving on to the hip fire is very good. The spread is pretty good. Even if you're moving, the reticle and crosshairs are pretty small. It's very good for hosing. I don't recommend the laser sight because that doesn't really make much of a difference on any weapon except maybe the shotguns. So the hip fire is very good on this weapon, very helpful in close quarters. As you see there, just completely hose people just like that drop down surprise your enemies now the reload the reload is pretty average it's not bad it's pretty much the exact same reload as the CBJMS from Call of Duty Ghosts um, the fast reload of course is much quicker although you'll empty your mag which you find you'll hit the empty reload with no bullets left much quicker so you normally don't have time to perform a quick reload but I do recommend that if you're low on bullets, just drop the entire mag. Forget about what's left. Because this gun, you'll see, it just loses its mag instantly. Next up is the iron sights. The iron sights on this weapon are actually pretty good. Although, aside from the testing, you won't get to see them much. Because I'm basically using the MP11 squeaker in this entire gameplay. Which comes with the red dot sight built in automatically. It's a lock. So you can't remove it. And that's what I stick with the entire time because I like to use the elite weapons just because they say elite on it. Yes, I know, it's kind of silly. I do have a, one other variant of the MP11, which is the Professional. Although I don't use that much as often. We'll talk about variants later. The MP11 Squeaker comes with the built-in red dot sight, as I said. But the iron sights on the weapon are actually pretty good. Very similar to the CBJMS, again, from Black Ops 2. Why Black Ops 2? Call of Duty Ghosts. And as well as the reload. Now, the iron sights, you don't really want to use them for long range. Because this is a close range weapon. But, I mean, you can. I don't recommend using an optic, even though this one comes built in on the squeaker. So use the iron sights, I recommend you do, especially since you should be only using this for close range. So next we'll talk about the run speed. The run speed is 100% as with all SMGs. This one included very quick, highest mobility, so you should be running, spraying, and praying, just hosing everyone down. Said that this entire video, I mean really, that's what you should be doing with this gun, you'll see. As, and we get into the class setup soon, is that I use lightweight, and that'll really help with the run speed, and you can just rush, 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 and continue to hose people down. So here's the class setup. I run the squeaker, which is the elite weapon, foregrip, and advanced rifling. Of course, you're going to have to use perk 3 greed for that. I like to run perk 1 greed with lightweight and low profile. And then I don't run a perk 2, I run perk 3 with toughness and blast suppressor. Pretty much the two crutch perks you need. And then I run the UAV care package and sentry gun with whatever attachments you like. I mean, I the sentry gun I'd run, I'd run them all support because you do die a lot in this game. But I run the sentry gun with the sentry attachment, the support, and the 360 turret head. Very good combination care package I run with faster pickup the trap care package and support as well UAV I run with the special assist score the support kill streak and the extra time 
But yeah, that's the class setup. As I said, I use lightweight to really ramp up the movement speed so you can really rush with this weapon as it's supposed to be used. Low profile for obvious reasons, even if I don't choose to run a suppressor, because the suppressor really does ruin this gun. Uh, I mean, you can use it if you're at really close range maps, something like, I don't know, Comeback. Definitely not for a map like Horizon, though. I recommend using Advanced Rifling instead, because this gun really does need the range on a long range map. But talking about the variants now, the best variants, I'd say, um, the Squeaker isn't exactly the best one. It's, it's ideal for close range, but the minus two accuracy really gets you especially at a longer range because it really increases that recoil on top of its plus two rate of fire and that really makes it hard to control recoil at a distance although at close range this thing just absolutely demolishes hoses people you'll see just spray prey with the hip fire just absolutely destroys people the that's probably i'd say the second best even though it's probably not the best for long range, I'd say the best variant of the MP11 by far, as you see, I get that nice double with the hip fire spray. It's exactly what I'm talking about with the squeaker. The best variant of the MP11, I'd say, is the Goliath, which gives you plus three damage and minus three mobility, which mobility isn't really a factor at all. It hardly does anything to the weapon, although plus three damage is a whole other story. Really, really, it makes it just as good if not better than the squeaker version at a close range because you'll be getting that higher damage you'll be getting that four shot kill more often combined with that high fire rate and if you run it with a foregrip and rapid fire then it just becomes an absolutely great combination and then if you don't have those two the professional mp11 savior which has minus one accuracy plus one rate of fire which is kind of like a mini mp11 squeaker is also pretty good not as hard to get although it's completely random on the drops you get it also comes in with a built-in laser sight which may not help you but it works it can be helpful even if it doesn't make much of a difference it does not have a built-in optical attachment but the goliath doesn't either the built-in laser sight is handy as i said so it's kind of like a mini squeaker if you don't have it uh, those are about the best three weapon variants i'd say but yeah guys that's the mp11 review in a nutshell i hope you guys try this weapon out i have over 300 kills i'm enjoying it a lot especially on kill confirmed as you see i just completely rush and collect the tags and here's the final um custom class setup if you guys wanted to take a look at it one more time I changed it things up a bit, a couple things up a bit. The final is right here. Foregrip, advanced rifling. I also have the savior, as you can see. Lightweight, low profile, toughness, blast suppressor, UAV, care package, and remote turret. Give it a shot, guys. Try it on Russian game modes like kill confirmed and hardpoint. And I hope you guys enjoyed.